Inhale. Exhale. You're invited to presence yourself even more and arrive with me, with each other globally with one or two hands on your heart space with the power of five mindful breaths. Sink head, hearts, the intention of a good day, a good session, whatever good means to you. Breathe, align, allow. Blink your eyes and mobilize. Take it into a minute. Let me open my body temple before I facilitate. Can't say you don't have the time. You have one minute. I'm giving you that. Community breath in, community breath out. All right, nothing like a gracious arrival. What do we have here? Who do we have here? You always have an option to be acknowledged and you're with someone that's holding space who loves acknowledgement. Words of affirmation are my love language. Lucky duckies, shall it be one of yours? Happy to facilitate, it's my sole service. However, there needs to be value for you. I already had a 25 year performing arts career. Not that I'll ever retire, but this is community work, self-care to community care. Every session I do, you have an assessment. Do it in your mind, your heart, your journal, share it in the chat. Today's location, everything's about relationships. Everything, everything, your relationship with cans of food, your relationship with your mother, with your inner being, with your job. Today, with openness and curiosity to learn. And then entertain us, won't ya? A word, a sentence, let's see. Mike, I'm happy you're here. Thank you for your patience. There's divine time, not everything's to the clock, but I am a Capricorn, so I like things organized. Thank you, Ellen, for calming him. <laughs> uh, Hallie is Robert and Robert is Hallie. He is me and I is they and D, 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 just so you know. <sighs> All right, Mary Kay, seven, living the elder life. Amazing. 
you know, every age has something to offer. Every week, every day, it's like, ooh, I wonder what details, what there will be to learn, to remember, to reveal today. So enjoy the elder cycle. Sometimes I feel like an elder too. You meet like two-year-olds and they seem like elders. It's very odd and interesting. Sister Yasmin, who I got to meet less than two weeks ago in New York. <laughs> How to do a renovation transition while staying aligned with my values. Hmm. Yasmin says something very important. So as a coach, I, you know, you can have a million processes, therapy, this, that. If there's one thing after your basic human needs, shelter, food, sleep, is find out what your values are, your personal core values. So Yasmin, many blessings. Hope you know your values and what you're willing to be flexible on and what you're not, because it will make a difference. Hence why I'm working on a values card game. Everyone knows I like card games. This one's a beast, but it's going to be profound, hopefully out next year. Stay tuned. Hi, Dorothy in Scotland. Seven. Explore my lighter creative side. You're in the right place. <laughs> awesome. That's where the breakthroughs happen. Hello, Mora in California. That rhymed. Mora, California. Am I waking you up? It's only 6.30 over there. Thankfully, I'm still being a little gentle and not forcing a voice. Welcome. Pardon me, Mike, if I misinterpreted you. Audrey in Virginia. Mm, I love that. <clears throat> Desire, what would satisfy you? That's one of the questions that a lot of coaches don't ask. What would satisfy you? What would satisfy you when you eat? What would satisfy you on a trip? What would satisfy you when you meet a friend and yes, what would satisfy you with your bodily needs? How much makeup, how much strength, how much cardio, how much exercise, how much sexual expression and pleasure? Life is so fast. Can you take time to find out what is it that you desire? To be honest, I definitely need to do that. <laughs> we hide behind the ambitions. Imagine, don't even think about logistics. What do you desire and why has it been repressed for months, for years? You deserve to feel good. What does feeling good mean? Bravo, Audrey. Yes, bring that up. DC and Nevada, eight. Inspiration, beautiful. Hmm. Thank you, Marnie. I'm house sitting. So it's nice to have a different space. Get used to it. I'm going to be away for three months, but I'll still do insight timers. January, February, March. The blessing when you're not married with kids to be able to have more travel. <laughs> All good. Text is a funny thing, isn't it? Thank you for sharing everyone. So I'm Robert Halley. I'm a creative wellness coach based in Toronto, Canada, Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Huron Wendat people's traditional territory, along with all sorts of amazing other cultures. Welcome to 50 things to dot, dot, dot. We have six decks of cards family's cards randomly one day, and I'm in the card making business, more like soul service. Printing cards is very expensive. 
but it's good to get away from the screens too, time to time. Anyhow, this is interactive and you are going to pick the card. So you ready to dive in? The goal is under an hour session. Ah, let's just take a breath, okay? Every direction. You can see my cool pants. Same outfit as last night. If you were on that live, don't mind me. <laughs> and then we'll dive right in. Let's trust what's highest and best will come through for all of us, for what we're meant to learn today, to take it into dinner conversations, rendezvous, even your own inner outer growth. We'll take a pause and come right back. Breathe and expand. Breathe in, breathe it out. Numerology of the day is November 18th. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8. The eighth person that puts an emoji in, you, actually no, the eighth person that gives me a number between one and 46 will pick that card to save time. Put an A or a D so we know if we're ascending or descending while I shuffle. This card will be 50 things to keep you active. And if people are not as responsive, you can go again. So Dorothy went, we're looking for the eighth. Mike! Mike, <clears throat> you are the one. Bravo. <laughs> Mike, are we going up or down, ascending or descending? Mike, we're going up and it's 21. Twelve, I'm counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So Mike, you picked from the deck 50, just different ways to keep you active. Then we talk about it. If you have anything to add to the reflection, please share. I'm seeing it for the first time. Let's see if it has a connection to you or relevant at this time. Use a standing desk for part of your work day. Try putting your laptop on a window ledge or building a taller desk with boxes or books. Well, 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 standing desk. Does anyone have one? Has anyone done a DIY version? Or what's your story with that? So. Standing desk, why? Why the standing desk, the science? When we're like this, sitting down, you're getting rid of the natural curves in your body, which is your nerve endings, your arteries. 
You're crunching your organs, blood flow, right? So the whole standing desk has become more popular to stay more alert, to breathe, to have less of those health challenges. Alan has had it because of an illness at the time. It's very helpful. So if for some reason you can't, set an alarm on a timer. They do say stand up once every hour for five minutes. I'd rather the 20 minutes. Stand up every 20 minutes if you have to stand up and sit back down. Try to stay up for at least two minutes. Or can you do some of your work from a cell phone? If it's just an audio message, tech, voice to text. We can sit down all day. One of my yoga teachers was like, the chair is, was the worst thing for human's health, for what it's doing to us. Mm. All right, Mike, so you got it. It's a reminder. Maybe, it, hey, the sales are coming out. Maybe you get a standing desk, one that's very easy. It's like, psh, and there's like, psh, psh, psh. Um, first of all, I'm a creative wellness coach, so health is not a one-way street. Everyone's different. So you would decide what is too much for standing and what isn't. When you stand, <laughs> it's funny how every product leads to another product. <laughs> Standing desk, $300. Aerodynamic mat, $100. <laughs> so yeah, you can stand up. There's different mats if you don't wear your shoes. Nice cushion for your spine. Maybe some reflexology points. I love it. It's something to think about. It was brought up today for us to be mindful, to not sit all day. So you may not be a marathon runner. You may not go to the gym, but what you can do is stand more often. It's as simple as that. And that came up for us to be mindful of, or maybe you want to check out a deal <laughs> and get yourself one or get your workplace to get you them. Yes, indeed. And remember, when you do stand, we do want the natural lumbar curve. Obviously, don't give in to the stomach. 20% natural lumbar curve. Time to time, squeeze your ASS together. And uh, shoulders back, heart open. Just be mindful of that. You can always do a little dance party, then sit back down. Yes. Mm hmm. Beautiful Carol, thank you for supporting this discussion. The whole thing, what's the middle path in meditation? What's the middle path with health? I love that. So DC shares walk while you talk. So if you have a phone call, are you a pacer? I'm a pacer. I like it. Get some steps in. When you move the body, there's more creative thought, too. Awesome. Let's move on. We have lots to get through. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Marnie, you're full of compliments. Thank you so much. Words of affirmation are my love language, and I appreciate the support. I do. I do ask for that as well. You may not be able to donate today, but you can be kind and affirm. Thank you. The eighth person that gives me a number between one and 48, we're going to pick a card and we'll find out what we're, what should we know? How dare they use the should word? Anyhow, a number one to 46. In the chat, put an I or a D for ascending or descending. <laughs> Thanks for the reframe, Carol. I didn't make this deck. I'm just having fun with it.
Yasmin! Bravo, we're gonna ascend for 32. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, math. So this is something we should know. Kahol reframed us. I think it was Kahol. What we can know. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Let's discuss this. Learn to say no. Be courteous and clear. Give a short reason if you'd like, but remember that you're communicating your decision, not asking permission. When saying no to a date, let them know gently that you're not interested. It's kinder to be clear. Wow. So some of you that have been supporting me for a while, you know I have a Wellness Oracle deck. And there's definitely a card called No. It is the most powerful word <laughs> in the English language. How interesting you got this, Yasmin. Are you not saying no to something that is meant to come up? No, 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 no. So let's discuss no. Are you holding back from a no? What's interesting is it talks about the dating. So I'm casually dating. I'm communicating with some people. And it's just super duper expected that two people won't feel the same way. And sometimes you find out right away. Sometimes you find out a few days later, a week later, a month later. But I love it. You're communicating your decision, not asking permission. Can you let them know gently? It's kinder to be clear. <laughs> it's okay, whether it's work, dates, it doesn't matter. So quite the appropriate time to talk about nonviolent communication. It does take practice. I have some friends that have a a weekly study group. I'll ask if they're open to more people. If you're interested, you can direct message me or you can join the, the Withian group chat and I can send you more information. We need to practice communication. It's one of the reasons why the world is the way it is besides selfishness and greed. <sighs> um, Nonviolent communication the four pillars, you're entitled to your version of the story. How did it make you feel? What's a desire and what's a request? That's it. This goes hand in hand with the no, because if you're evaluating from a heart-centered place, there'll constantly be yeses, there'll constantly be noes. Where is love flowing? Where is the fear stirring something up. I'm a gentle leader, an empath. Very often people overstep, 
they dump on me. So it's like, whoa, how do we have these boundaries to not be depleted so you can be in the light of your soul service? Glad that resonated with you, Yasmin. <laughs> There's so many people that know it all. I don't want to argue. Well, you can be like, thanks for sharing. I have a time commitment. You know, the hardest thing is to stop someone. But I'll teach you my trick that I learned in coaching school is you say their name. So if they're a ramble, 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 let's say it's Mara. You say their name. Hey, Mara. Mara. Mora, Mora, I'm going to pause you right there. Wow, what an, such an exciting life you have. I'm so honored that you're sharing that with me, but you know, I have a time commitment and uh, we'll catch up another time. Thank you. <laughs> Mora, no, I don't want to hear that anymore. <laughs> it takes practice. Something you can do on your walks with yourself. How do you practice saying no? Sometimes you have to role play kind of powerful. I think there's empty chair therapy where you put a chair and then you practice what you would say to that person. We did it in a, another self-development retreat I went to and the amount of like tears and like shakes that came through, especially if you put a family member that you haven't talked to in a while. Anyhow, we are veering from the topic but no means no, and practice your gentle ways. <laughs> well, sometimes gentle is not the best answer. Sometimes. Remember, it's not a one-way street. We can thrive to be eloquent people, but you need what you need. And sometimes the listener, the person on the other end, needs a bit of a, not a punch, but a, Especially with eye contact. Why don't we practice it? Let's take a minute. Keep saying no for a minute. Try it in different ways. <sighs> no. No. No, thanks. Oh. No, it's all right. No. 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 <laughs> no. Breathe in. Um, no. I didn't do that one for you, Mike. I thought I did, did a few characters. Hopefully some of y'all on the other end were doing it as well. Got to do the work, have the experience, get inspired by facilitators, but do the work. <laughs> um, no. Let's move on. 50 ways to make the world a better place. I'm looking for the eighth person with a number from one to 46 with an A or a D to know if we're ascending or descending.
DC, you are the one, nine with ascending. Sip of water. Consider carpooling or taking public transportation to reduce emissions. How does everyone get around? It is kind of crazy, A, eh, to look on the roads. It's like one person, one person, one person, one person, one person, one person, one person in all these cars. Sadly, a lot of our cities or uh, towns don't have the infrastructure. Then there's the whole safety and wanting to be in your own aura or your own ritual for your mindset. But do you see the first word? Consider, just consider it. Consider it. Can you walk? Can you bike? Yeah. <laughs> A shuttle, why don't I get the joke, Sister Maggie? Public transportation, carpooling. <laughs> when I lived in Denver, there actually was a free shuttle. Some American cities, they have a free shuttle in the center, the loop. Oh, girl, don't go there. <laughs> um, I erased that from my memory. I suggest you do the same. Um, yeah, so, so I work part-time in the film industry and it's really nice because you start making friends and then it's like, okay, who's in this part? And we do do carpooling, it's really nice. It's kind of nice to be shocked by someone's journey as well. But then it's interesting how these cards connect because once you're trapped in a car with someone, Sometimes you do need to practice that no and be like, um, can we have quiet time now or agreeing on the song? <laughs> Anyhow, did you connect with that DC to consider public transportation, carpooling, biking, walking? It's one of those fine lines, right? It's like, I personally don't wanna live in the city, but then there's something so amazing about a small town and having things in walking distance. But I think it's all balanced out, right? It's not like you're doing 200 kilometers a day commuting. I hear you, DC, same with me. Depends on the lifestyle and the goal at hand. We'll leave it at that. Let's go on. Ways to help you digitally detox. It's always funny to do this one because we're on a digital platform. But remember, virtual is vibrational and you can always listen and not look at my Strange, unique, expressive face. Treat it as a podcast if you want. I'm looking for a number between 1 and 46. A or D. Let's see what we're meant to reflect on.
Carol, you are the one ascending. There's 46 in the deck. So this is, even though we're going up and going down, 46, 45, 44. So this is to help you digitally detox. Choose one app or social media account and cut that out first. Successfully changing one habit lets you know you can conquer the next one if you want to. So shall you have a smartphone? Which apps are taking your time? And there's ways to find out how, how long you've been on a certain app, I think. Or maybe you have to download an app to tell you how long you've been on an app. So this idea is to delete one. And then slowly you can keep deleting them. You know, it doesn't have to be like that. You can stop the notifications first. You can lock it. You can work on your relationship only after five o'clock. Can you check Facebook or Instagram or whatever you use? Insight timer. <laughs> then there's also the option of just using it on your laptop, not on your phone. <laughs> don't give up Insight timer. So one of the reasons I'm going live more often is because I don't really use Instagram and Facebook. Not the best for an entrepreneur, but I literally zip on and I zip off. I'd rather share my time and energy in digital space with people that are similar to me, hungry, growth-minded. So here I am. You get my love. Speaking of, <laughs> if you want to join our circle, I'm going to go back to doing those questions. I met eight people. I met like 10 people this year off this platform in person. Real hugs sharing meals. So know that the integrity I have with holding space and having you be my mirror, no matter how different we are, there is a thrill in that. The sacredness of life wants to meet and I do make the effort to do so. So yeah, a lot of people use social media and I totally get it. Like I am blessed to have a lot of people in my life, but I can't possibly respond to everyone. So I totally get Instagram, Facebook, do a post, say something, boom, it's updated. So there's definitely the pros to that, but it's also geared for addiction. Scrolling, it's never ending. It's like, ah, ah, ah. it's kind of scary. So in the film industry, when we're not on set, you have your downtime, you can talk, you can eat, you can read. You can be on your phone. Sometimes you see people, you're just like, and they're just like, scroll, 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 scroll. I'm like, you're not Robocop. Do you know that movie when he like read the books? Like, can you even process? God bless you. That's why I'm keeping eye palming in the Oracle deck because our poor eyes. Insight Timer, Carol, followed by Insta Instagram. Oh, Maggie, you're selling me. Thank you. Very sweet. <sighs> Turning off the notifications. Yeah, come on, everyone. Let's be more engaged in my circle. I'm actually going to start giving a complimentary Zoom practice every month maybe twice a month. Let's see each other. Let's engage. <laughs> That's hilarious, Maggie. All right. We have two more to go. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Things to do on a rainy day. It doesn't have to be a rainy day. It can be a cold day. It can be a very sensitive day where you're like, humans, I am over you. It's an introspective day. I'm looking for a number between one and 46 with an A or a D beside it for ascending or descending. Let them go. 
let me know. Mary Kay, similar to DC, both wanted one. All right, one ascending up. So something to do on a rainy day. Spend quality time with your pet or borrow a neighbor's. You can't beat cuddling with a dog or snuggling a cat. <laughs> What happens if you're not an animal person? Anyhow, what's your story, Mary Kay? Do you have a pet? Believe it or not, I got to snuggle with a, get ready for it. Actually, let me show you. See if I can find a picture. Believe it or not, I got to cuddle with, <laughs> you won't believe it. I got to cuddle with this, a blue tongued skink. I did, I did, I did, I did. They're so cute. Look at that tongue, they're so magical. I actually hope one day to have a blue tongued skink. They're so cute when they eat strawberries. So I got to meet Louise, our fellow Insight Timer sister. And she has a blue tongued skink. Can you believe it? They're like expert meditators. <laughs> of course, I'm actually not really a fan of the pet industry and puppy mills and like cross breeding and playing science experiment. And there's so many pets that are in horrible homes. So this is a whole other topic of animal exploitation. Don't get me started, but shall you have a pet? Shall you have a rescue? Whatever, however, the animals in your life, love them. Lose time, have sacred divine moments and love them. And respect the boundary. Animals will have you know. They'll teach you how to say no. So respect the boundary. Sometimes it may just be in each other's aura. Sharing the breath, sharing a gaze, sharing a meal. Beautiful. <laughs> Glad you're connecting. Well, we've made it to the end, very last card. Breathe in. Breathe out. So how to improve your mindfulness? How appropriate. Looking for the eighth person. Oh my gosh, I should be standing. I'm sitting too long. <laughs> I'm looking for the eighth person, number one to 46. Let me counter the sitting.
Thank you, Dorothy. Consistency is key. <laughs> 35 down. Experiment with active forms of meditation, dancing, tai chi, or any form of exercise that can be a meditation if you do so mindfully. So I will remind you that I'm a dancer over 20 year career. And as much as I do enjoy meditation, I will always be a dancing soul. It's also really sad. I get into conversations so often, people are like, oh, I can't meditate. Oh, I can't. My mind's too rapid and fast and this and that. Meditation can be many different things. So let's remind each other that and Yes, slow down your breath, connect your breath, whether it's running, walking, scrapbooking, baking. But of course, the more mindful, holistic tools, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, yoga, dancing. Perfect, Dorothy, I'm glad you resonate with that. What are some other ways? So Mara, it's swimming. Swimming's so fascinating because you're immersed and it's like a whole other world and there's no like billboards around you. So it's that sacred space for sure. I'm starting to explore more Qigong personally. And of course, all about the nature walks. If you can combine some exercise, some breath, some forest bathing, what more can you ask for? So yeah, don't be discouraged if you can't or you're not interested or the body just doesn't want to do a formal meditation. Bring the sacred presence of your attention elsewhere. Personally, I'm going to make pancakes today. I'm going to meditate making pancakes. <laughs> creative wellness asks you to be creative, diverse, gracious, compassionate. Be the artist of your soul. What is it to be you to process, to de-stress, to illuminate? There is not one way. So experiment. And of course, I don't have my sign here, but I'm a yoga teacher and I blend every other Monday. We have different yin style practices, walking meditations, mudras, vocal toning, some qigong, some dancing, some yoga. I'm creating a technique called yin style practices. And it's for people that don't um, resonate with the formal silent sit. So come through with yin.ca. You can check out the about link in my bio. And just like that, da -da -da, we are complete. Thank you so much. My name is Robert Halley. I'm a creative wellness coach based in Toronto, Canada. This was 50 things to dot, 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 dot. <laughs> We're going to be doing this for a year. It's kind of fun. What are the new lives that get birthed since I'm producing my own content? Um, I'd love your support. Already you've gifted with time, attention, energetic resonance with me. Thank you for helping me share spark ideas. Before we go, I'll just quickly remind you. So experiment with different forms of meditation. Delete one app or maybe you just have it on your laptop. Use a standing desk, don't sit all day, but of course decipher how much standing, how much sitting. 
Learn to say no. Um, it's kinder to be clear. I love that. Don't lead someone on and go down this path where they are starting to make fantasies. It's kinder to be clear. Hell no. Sorry, hells no. Quality time with a pet or an animal, even if it's in their aura on a rainy, cold day. Consider car carpooling. No shuttles, though. Carpooling or public transport or your bike or your feet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please join my circle called Creative Wellness. I'll be posting questions almost a few times a week and opportunities to meet on Zoom. Maybe there'll be a pop-up this weekend. I teach yoga, hatha, kundalini, yin. If you'd like a one-to-one, -one, I offer complimentary for 15 minutes. Check out the link in my bio. I'm here to serve, to take up space, to bring the fun to this mental health sector, mindfulness. I'm a queer person of color, and I appreciate your support. I'm like slowly where I want to be with my products, my books, but we got to have fun along the way. And oh my gosh, look, my hand's in the mirror. That's so cool. Mike, please come back. Thanks for sticking around. Sister Carolina, bravo on the abundance. I'll be in touch. It's amazing. What's this week going to bring? What's that week going to bring? Tomorrow is um, the wellness wheel. And I have it right over here. Tomorrow's the Wellness Wheel of Fortune. Come through, 8.30 Eastern time. See you then. Again, if you got value, simply say thank you or wish everyone well. Join the circle or maybe there's a donation you'd like to demonstrate your abundance. I appreciate if you're able to listen to a talk and offer a review. Godspeed all you need. Catch you around. Oh, you'll love it, Mike. Mike, where are you from? Carmel, isn't that California? New York? I was in New York like a week ago. Uh, we could have had a walk and a talk. Guess next time. Take care. I'm gonna draw for a bit. Canadian, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Ciao.